Hi Stampers, this is Dawn from DawnStippingThoughts.net and today we're going to make the screen divider card. So cute. This was the first one that I made using the sheltering tree, which I love that stamp set. It's in the Occasions catalog. So you can see how it sits up by itself. Super cute. So, but for today's video, we're going to make the envelope and we're going to make a Mother's Day screen divider card. So this is what this one looks like. Isn't it pretty? It looks like my mom. I love this card. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make the card. We're going to do a little bit of stamping and then I'm going to also make the envelope with you because this is a fairly large card. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here are the pieces we're using. I'm using the pink pirouette and this is cut at five and a half by 11. And then you're going to need four pieces of each. I'm using the Whisper White, and this is cut at two and one eighth by four. The Pear Pizzazz, which is cut at two and three eighths by four and a quarter. And then the Basic Black, which is cut at two and a half by four and three eighths. You're gonna need four of those. And I went ahead already and stamped three of the panels already. But we're gonna stamp on this one in a little bit. All right, so let's grab the paper trimmer. Okay, so we're gonna score on the 11 inch side of your pink pirouette. We're gonna score this at two and three quarter, five and a half, and then eight and a quarter. That was easy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half, and I have a pencil in my hand, and I'm going to make a little pencil mark at the very tip of the center point at the five and a half inch score line, just because I'm going to use the scallop edge border punch, and I want that to be my guide when I start punching with this punch. So I'm just going to take the punch, use it upside down, and I'm going to line that little tick mark or that pencil mark right in the center of the scallop. And that's going to be my center point for punching across the top. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just continue moving down and across. Okay, so there's my edge of my screen divider card. Okay, so the next would be to fold your score lines. This is what it looks like when it's closed up. Should look like that. Okay, so now we're going to take the decorative label punch and I'm going to use this first scallop right here on either side, looking at it from upside down. I'm going to use that as my base for my guide. And I'm going to also center this punch right between each panel. And I'm just going to go ahead and punch right about there. Okay, then I'm going to fold it and I'm going to keep that as my guide. I'm just going to line that up with the previous punched area. If I can see it, and punch. Okay, and then I'm going to fold it again, just using that as my guide. So they're all going to pretty much line up. Okay, so there's the little feet of the screen divider card. And they should be fairly even. Okay, so that's pretty much the base right there. Super cute. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do some stamping. I'm going to take the Whisper White piece. And I'm going to stamp a greeting for that piece. So the stamp sets we're using for the greetings, I'm using Mother's Love for these two greetings right here. Nobody loves like mom and no mom deserves more love than you. I love that. And then we're also using the painted petals for the flowers. Love this stamp set. And then we're also using the stamp, You Are Amazingly Amazing. We're going to stamp that. Okay, so I have all the stamps on the blocks ready to go. And the colors we're using are Pear Pizzazz, and then of course the pink pirouette, all color coordinating. That's what I love about Stampin' Up. It's just all the cardstock, the inks, the ribbons, everything coordinates. It's like a no-brainer. Then we're going to use the Memento ink in the black. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp this You're Amazingly Amazing first. I'm going to stamp that with the black. And 
I'm going to take the extra large oval punch. This fits in there perfectly. So we're going to punch that out. Okay, and I'm going to pop that up on a dimensional real quick. Get that out of the way. Okay, so now we're going to use the painted petals. We're going to stamp on this piece of Whisper White. We're going to stamp with the, the leaves first. Let me get a piece of scrap. Okay, so I'm going to stamp with the Pear Pizzazz. Just going to stamp right here one time. And then we're going to take the flowers. This is a two-step stamp set, so remember you get two images to complete one image. So we're going to take the flowers, I'm going to stamp that with the pink pirouette. And then we're going to line this up as good as I can. <laughs> that looks great. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put our card together. I'm actually going to put this layer onto the pure pizzazz. I'm going to take the basic black. Okay, so now this is the way I'm going to yep, set up my panel. This is going to go on the first one. This is going to be the second, third, and then the last. And then this is going to go on here. And then this would be a really cute area to write your name or a little message. And then also you could also flip it on the back and sign it too. It's just a really very universal card. All right, so we're going to just go ahead and decorate it. Okay, so we're going to flip this this way. What a cute, cute card. Okay, so then here's the other one that I made. And all I did different on this one was that I added some basic pearls. These right here. Just decorated the edge on the scallop and then added some to the flowers. Just looks so motherly. I love it. All right, so now let's go ahead and make the envelope. Okay, so when I was making the envelope for this card, I did two different sizes. And I, and I guess it really just depends on how much... Um, embellishments you want to add to this card. Now I wanted to mail mine flat, but I don't know if you could actually mail it this way. It's really thick, especially when I added the basic um, pearls on there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mail mine flat like this. And like I said, I have two envelopes. This one I made for a six by six size. The card is actually five and a half by five and a half when folded flat. But this is the one we're gonna make today. This size envelope is the five and a half by six. It's still a little big, but I'd rather it be a little big than too small. So it fits in there pretty good, okay? And then I went ahead already and stamped this one, the six by six size. It's just super cute to add the decoration. Okay, so since we're using the five and a half by six inch size card, what I did here is I just went ahead and looked on my envelope punch board for the five and a half by six inch size card. And then I'm using a piece of Whisper White in the 12 by 12. And this is cut at nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter. And your first score line is gonna be four and three eighths. So that's pretty easy. It's gonna take our scoring tool out. The very first line you're gonna line up. And then after that, remember, you're gonna discard the measurements. So you're going to go four and three eighths, you're going to punch and then score. Then you're going to take this score line and you're going to line it up with this little tail here. Punch and score. You're just going to continue doing that on all four sides. Line it up, punch and score. Okay. And then don't forget, we have a really awesome corner rounder on the top of your punch board. Just run around all the corners. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fold score lines. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and stamp. Let me get the stamps out again. I'm going to get the pear pizzazz and the pink pirouette. Okay, and we're going to stamp a couple of the green leaves with the pear pizzazz over 
the side. And then we'll take the flowers again and just stamp. I'm going to double stamp. You know that two generation? I just like the looks of it on the front. Super cute. Okay, so let's clean this up. So now I'm going to take some adhesive. I'm going to use snail, but I would highly recommend the fast fuse. It will just hold it together a lot better, especially if you are mailing it. I'm going to put some on the sides. And then also on the flap over. Okay, we're just gonna fold that up. Okay, and let me get this one here. Okay, so there's the card, and then you're just gonna slide it in this way or this way. It doesn't matter. How cute is that? And then here's the card again. Okay, that's how you make that screen divider card with the matching envelope. Okay, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you later.